Right. So welcome to Applied Dynamical Systems. Uh, yeah, this is the course of Applied Dynamical Systems. Yeah, this is, uh, I think uh, this is a three credit course. Uh -huh. And here they, men they mentioned uh, there are 30 lecture hours and 30 practical hours. So uh, better change this to yeah, 45 lecture hours. Uh, if I have time, yeah, so I will discuss some practicals uh, using Python. Oh, no, not Python, no, man. Octave, Octave. Yeah, if I have time to know, we have huge content to cover. I think if I have time, so I will discuss the, uh, yeah, some practice, uh, how to simulate some models using Octave codes. Uh, yeah, so simple Octave codes, right? So in this course, uh, this is the main reference. Uh, you have to download this, uh, can be downloaded uh, from the web, web for free of charge, right? Uh, if you uh, uh, Google this name, I think I'm able to, anyway, but I included in the LMS, if you visit LMS, uh, I included that textbook. Uh, and the LMS uh, you can download from here. So this is an external link for that text, that textbook. All right. So this is the main reference. I always uh, use the content. Yeah. So some. Yeah. So I took uh, from that book. Uh, so these are. Yeah. So yeah. Some of uh, content I took from straight away, not straight away. Yep, so I straight away it is, uh, yeah, not straight away. I took some parts. Uh, yeah, so from the book, uh, yeah, these are the main topics we will cover. So we mainly focus on nonlinear systems. So in your second year, I think and, uh, in differential equation, you have learned uh, linear systems, uh, linear systems. You investigated uh, stability of those systems, right? You see, uh, finding eigenvalues and looking at eigenvalue, you said, uh-huh. So these are, yep, so first of all, you had to find the equilibrium points or fixed points of the problem, then most of the time you will get zero, zero, yeah, yep, zero, zero, I think because it is linear, most of the time. Yeah, so because these are linear, if you have a linear system, most of the time you get, yeah, so zero, zero. So you investigated uh, the stability of that point, whether it is a, uh, stable or unstable, uh, and you found that uh -huh, if you have complex uh, eigenvalues, you uh, new, uh, you found that uh, this has a, a spiral, uh, yeah, stable spiral like this. And if it is unstable, let's say you have complex uh, values for eigenvalues, right, then it is unstable yeah, spiral. Yeah, so you have studied those things in your first year, right, but in this course, uh, we mainly focus on nonlinear systems, right, nonlinear systems, then, then uh, your yeah, trajectories. Uh, this is if this is a phase plane. Yeah. So so if you if you if you discuss if you consider second order, you have two dimensional systems. Uh, system. Uh, if you let's say if you consider n d n n order differential equations, then you will get n-dimensional systems, dynamical systems, right? 
So mainly, uh, so we mainly focus on yeah, so nonlinear systems, n dimensional, gen the most general n dimensional system, nonlinear systems. Right. And if you have a system, we will talk about uh, yeah, so stability of the system. Uh, using eigenvalues, we compute the eigenvalues. First of all, you have to identify the equilibrium points or stationary points or fixed points. Then we classify those yeah, equilibrium points. Those equilibrium points, right? Uh, whether it is a stable or unstable, stable uh, or periodic one, let's say this is you have a fixed point or equilibrium point here. Uh -huh. So by looking at, at uh, yeah, eigenvalues, let's say uh, this has uh, periodic solutions, I would say. So this has, so, so the behavior near this, uh, near this fixed or equilibrium point is periodic like that you investigated for second order differential equations second order linear uh, linear model uh, yeah, you, in that course you i think you are given uh, linear you were given linear systems yeah yeah so but in this course we consider we discuss non-linear systems not only to second order third and higher order but uh, the uh, the duration is uh, uh, we have only forty five lecture hours, so so we will consider we will consider we will discuss we will be discussing uh, one dimensional systems uh, yeah two dimensional up to three dimensional systems up to yeah three dimensional systems. Yeah, so three dimensional systems. Yeah. So we start with one dimensional systems or uh, first order systems. We start off with this. Definitely, we will um, brush up our knowledge on the linear systems. How do you find? How do you first of all? How do you find find the fixed points or equilibrium points? Then we classify those fixed points, right? And then we will yeah, discuss invariant manifold and point theory mapping, point theory conjecture. Yeah, so yeah, fixed point period of it and and bifurcation techniques, bifurcation theory. Yeah, we will discuss bifurcation theory, another important one. Yeah, so bifurcation. Uh, these things and chaotic behavior we will discuss chaotic behavior of a system displaying systems and, I, and some of our applications to these things uh, periodic and and chaotic behaviors uh, chaotic systems yep. so yeah we will discuss using applications of uh, applications from physics, biology, and so on and so on. All right, so and another important part is, uh, so you are given uh, yeah, continuous assessments. Uh, together we will give, I think, five continuous, uh, yeah, five assignments. Most of the time, yeah, you, you ask to answer, I think, one or two questions, one or two essay type questions. So I will consider 50% of your, from your uh, uh, continuous assessment. Uh, so then, then, then it is 50%, yeah, 50% worth of uh, final grade, yeah. 
Ah, uh, this is end. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So, for from continuous assessment, I will consider fifty percent of your final grade, and uh, for your in uh, yeah final exam, I will consider another fifty percent. Um, if I have time, I will discuss some some of their quotes. But we have to cover huge uh, content, I think. I will, I will try to uh, find time, I think. Uh, then uh, if, I, if I discuss some octave codes, uh, don't worry, don't worry, those are easy. Uh, uh, last time, I think I done two times, I think. Uh, Yep, so last time we didn't discuss octave codes. Yeah. So this time, let's see uh, if we find some time. Yeah, let's try to discuss some simple, there are some couple of simple codes, octave codes. Then you can visualize, uh, you can simulate these models, these applications, these problems. Yep, so let's see. So these assignments are based on, I think, uh, yeah, written essay type questions. Don't worry, yep, so essay type question. Do we have practical exam? No, 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 no. You have only a, a, a final exam, okay? So you don't have any practical test. Uh, Otherwise, your workload <laughs> very large here. Yeah, so, yep. So I will give a final exam. Let's see. Let's see at the end. So far, I uh, so far I think I conducted this lecture twice. Uh, I gave three hour paper, three hour, but it's uh, quite difficult. Yep. So if you discuss uh. Theoretical for yeah part thoroughly. Yeah, I can give three uh, give a three hour paper. But if you if you have time to discuss some couple of uh thoughts, uh yep, so let's see then this will be I can reduce the time duration of the final yeah final exam with the practical yeah maybe if i discuss some but no so far let's see let's see let's see how it goes uh just uh at the moment let's say uh so you will have three hour paper right three hour paper final paper with the continuous assessment these assessments are written questions yeah written question related to the final exam so these are related to the final exam yep. so that is a good exercise for for your final exam right if i have time let's see i will discuss a couple of uh, yeah quotes yeah two quotes as well yeah. let's see how it goes right all right, any, any questions, any doubts? Yeah, so let's move on. Yeah, so during the, yeah, today I will give a small brief introduction. I I don't discuss, um, that, yeah, these are the real content. So I will give, I will give a brief introduction about the dynamical system here, right? And and during the first week, yep. Yeah, so today, today, I will give a brief introduction. So why it is important to learn dynamical systems. Yep, so and so on and so forth. Then we uh, don't know if I have time. Let's yeah start off slowly yeah so 
Then if I have time, I will discuss one dimensional already. Uh, today, yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so one dimensional. So we start off with the one dimension, first order systems, first order systems, and uh, definite, uh, definitely, Yep, so we start off with because you have covered uh, you you learned a linear case in second year. I will start off yeah, I will start off nonlinear case. Yeah. I will start off one nonlinear one dimensional systems. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, during the first two weeks. So we will consider, yeah. So we start off with that. So, so today or tomorrow and next time, start off with one dimensional nonlinear yeah, dynamical systems. Then uh, we will yeah, talk about fixed point or equilibrium points. At those points, a uh, particle does not move do not move, sorry, particles do not move at, at equilibrium points. And we investigate the stability at these points, or what type of tab stability at these points. And then, uh, yeah, using linear stability analysis. So this uh, using linear stability analysis, we, here we zoom out, we zoom out, uh, this area, uh, if you zoom out, if you have a round surface, if you zoom out this uh, a particular area, let's say this point, so what do you get? This, uh, what is the behavior of the structure? Behavior of the structure almost is, is, all, is almost linear. So using, so like that, yep, so Using linear stability analysis, we classify those uh, fixed points or equilibrium points. So we classify whether this is a stable or unstable using yeah, linear stability analysis. Yeah, before that, uh, another method called geometric method. Yeah, geometric method. We are using geometric method. We can, uh, yeah, so we can. Yeah, classify or investigate the stability of these uh, equilibrium points. And then and later we will discuss existence and uniqueness of, 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 of the trajectories, right? And, 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 and we will discuss bifurcation theory, another important part, bifurcation theory. So uh, here we mainly discuss three bifurcation uh, types, cellular node, transcritical, and pitchfork bifurcation for one-dimensional systems, right? So that's all about one-dimensional systems. Then we start of two-dimensional yeah, systems. Then, yeah, so first of all, we will, uh, so yeah, so in your second year, you talk, you discuss, you learn two-dimensional linear flows, yeah. so you have covered this part, but here we cover, we will cover this, yeah, so to brush up our knowledge on that. We start with this, right, two-dimensional flows or two-dimensional systems. So if you have two-dimensional systems, linear systems, so how do you locate uh, fixed points? And how do you investigate? How do you classify these fixed points? Yep, so, and then, yep, so then, oh, yep, so in the middle of uh, the, yep, this course, I will uh, start discussing phase plane. So later you will understand these are the main topics we will discuss, right? Right. So just uh, yeah. and then 
uh, this is another this is a one of applications uh, how do you can use yeah, pronounce this yep so yeah this model we will discuss this is one of applications and predator prey uh, this is predator prey model yeah. so and then we will discuss conservative flow for these are two dimensional systems conservative systems and reversible systems and you will see yep so if you increase the dimension you will see so if you have a one dimensional system it is boring why right? so it moves to the right the particle can be your particle moves to the only to the right or left or remain at remains as their yeah, particles remain at the same point so only three cases but if you increase the dimension one more dimension two dimension like this yeah a particle is moving here and there it can be periodic and uh, uh, spirals periodic periodic you get interesting yep so you will uh find interesting behavior near the fixed points or equilibrium points if you increase another dimension now we increase another dimension after discussing these theorems yep so this is three dimensional systems if you increase another dimension let's say yeah so this is the third dimension one two three oh you will see complicated yeah so dynamics you it's very hard to uh it is very hard to uh, investigate if you have three dimensional systems if you increase uh, dimensions larger than three or oh, very difficult lighting very difficult but in this course we we will cover up to three dimensions uh, we will cover up three dimensions yeah three dimensions this course yeah, up to three dimensions right this is the course plan uh, this is a rough course plan so don't know if i have time so i we can yeah simulate these uh these problems i think if, if you know matlab or, or no, matlab octave or python yeah we can simulate if we have time don't know yeah so this is a huge uh, yeah, uh topics to be covered uh uh, if we have time, let's see. Uh, let's discuss a couple of uh, codes. Uh, simple codes, uh, not complicated. Simple codes. So, so let me discuss. Let me give you a brief, uh, yeah, brief introduction to what? Yeah, to dynamical systems, right? Yeah, dynamical systems uh, theory is a branch of mathematics. Uh, actually, that leads uh, with the study of systems that evolve or change over time. We study, we all the time study the evolution. We want, if you have one dimensional or two or three or n dimensional, so we study the behavior of the system. Uh, that evolves with the time. Yeah, it evolves with the time. The system is evolving all the time. Yeah. Right? So, so, if you have a system like this, yeah, so we are especially focusing on the equilibrium point. So, at equilibrium points, and what happened to the equilibrium points? or fixed points and what happened to the system as t tends to time tends to infinity and so on and so forth right 
So we mainly study the system that evolves with time or change with time. So it provides a framework for understanding and analyzing the behavior of the system. Or if you have a complex system, yeah, you can understand the behavior, right? You can understand the behavior. So that uh, if you, yeah, system, system is always evolving, yeah, evolving with time, yeah, it is changing all the time. So we consider general time, yeah, particular time, let's say general t equals t, and we consider, we focus on the particles, what happened to the particles at a certain point is yeah, going, flowing inside, flowing inward, flowing into the point or flowing outside the point. Yeah, that depends on the uh, dimension you are talking about. So if you have one dimension, so always particle move to the right or left or remains the same. Particle remains the same at a particular point. That point is called the fixed point or equilibrium point. Always uh, there are two movements to the right, to the left, or if or a particle set uh, um, moving to the right uh, and settle at a certain point, or flying uh, or flies off to the infinity. We are checking those behaviors, right? When it comes to one dimensional systems. Yeah, very simple to describe, yeah, investigate the behavior of one dimensional systems because it has uh, yeah, a few number of movements. Yep, so can be the particle can move to the right, left, or going or move to the right and settle at a certain point, or moving without any limitation, we are moving to the infinity. Yep, so infinity plus or minus infinity. Okay, those things. Oh, we're coming toward to the point or uh, from the infinity to here or from a point, from a certain point to the here. Yep, so we investigate those things. Yeah, very simple to discuss and the first order systems or one dimensional systems, right? Okay. Yeah, so a dynamical, yeah, so a dynam, yeah, so if you consider a system, yeah, it is characterized, uh, characterized by a set of variables that represent state variables. Let's say if you have, let's say if you have one dimensional system, it has only one state variable x. X is the only, yeah, state variable. If you consider two dimensional system, there are two states variables x and y. So in your second year, you have you discuss. I don't know whether you have uh, you learn one dimensional system first, but in second year you have discussed yeah, two dimensional flows of two dimensional systems, right? Without talking about the one dimensional one, right? So these are, yeah, these are, these are state variables. And this is called, this plane is called, yeah, phase plane, yeah, so phase plane, phase, yeah, sorry. Yes. Space, space, yeah. Yeah, no plane, yeah, so, yeah. This is, yeah, so in one di dimension, the straight line is the phase space. Yeah, you need vectors to understand these things. If you have an n-dimensional system, yeah, we use vectors.
vectors all the time vectors so so state uh, state a variable consists of uh, n number of variables yep so it is a vector so uh, you have a n tuple like this x1 x2 dot 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 xn right so there are n number of state variables so i don't use this one i always use vector notation right like this so, so this is like this okay so the state system yeah state of the system these are the state state variables so states of the system so evolves a state of the system evolves according to the rule of this rule this is the rule f is the rule according to a a set of rules or equations here you have many many equations because uh, yeah so so the state the state of the system evolves according to the set of rules the set of rules this one also function uh, vector so this function also vector value function right so this is a vector value uh, this is a vector this is a vector value function right or field vector field okay right so so these rules these rules yep so these rules can be yes i express, expressed uh, as differential equations like this so this is the rule so this is the first order differential equation. So so x is a vector here, right? In general, in general, if you have a one-dimensional system, so this is not a vector, right? This is a just one-dimensional quantity variable, right? This is yep. so this one is a function, one-dimension function, and and yes, yeah, variable x single value function f is a single value function x is your yeah state variable this state variable depends on the time yeah. it's a function these state variables are functions of yeah are functions of t time yeah these state variables are functions of that time yeah so these variables depend on time variable t time so here not only time yeah let's say this is a parameter this parameter could be yeah can be changed from negative infinity to positive infinity t is a parameter i think we discuss in the calculator yeah t is a very a parameter or it could be uh, you can restrict the uh, the variation from zero to infinity. Then you can consider t as uh, time. So in general, yeah, this can be uh, this this changes from negative infinity to positive. Infinity. Okay. If you uh, talk about a real world application, then this is time right? Time. Yeah, time. Then you have to consider this uh, domain. Yeah. All right. So as I said before, yeah. So these are uh, rules. Uh, yeah. Uh, rules uh, can be. Express or I expressed 
as differential equations. And they so if if your if your this variable t is continuous, you will get a differential equation. If this is discrete variable, let's say t could be discrete, right? Discrete first year, zero year, second first year, second year. Then in this case, t is discrete. Then, then this equation becomes the discrete, or how do you say? Uh, discrete, no, no. How do you, if this is a discrete uh, difference equation, yeah, this is a difference uh, equation. Yeah, if t is, uh, t is continuous, you will get a differential equation. If t is discrete, Yep, so the equation um, would be discrete or sometimes stochastic. So in this uh, course, we only discuss the, con yeah, we will discuss continuous case. And the disc if I have time, I will discuss discrete case, a discrete case. Then you will get a disc, uh, difference equation here. Uh, stochastic case, yep. So we don't, yep. So, so we, we all uh, touch on uh, stochastic case. If t is continuous, and then this I uh, rule, uh, yeah. Yeah, this equation would be differential. Equation, yep. So if t is discrete, yeah, this is a different equation, yeah. All right, any that clear to okay? So this is basically if I write the yeah, let's say system, yeah, I will write this system, yeah, this is the system. In general, yeah, so first order. Not first order, it could be any n dimensional general in general. Of course, a vector field. Yeah. yeah. So this system, this is the dynamical system, right? So x definitely, yeah, so I don't write here, yeah, so x depends on. So on t, right? T variable. All right. So this is our dynamical system. We want to investigate, right? So the behavior, so the behavior of the system, of this dynamical system, is determined by the yeah inter yeah interaction between its component and the initial point. Yeah, initial point also very important. Yeah, so, yeah, so let's say, yeah, so this is the system. Yeah. So you have to consider the initial point. Let's say this is x one. x one. Yeah, initial point is very important, right? So this is the system here. Yeah? So, so you are always, so you have to know the initial point, initial point to investigate the behavior of a system. Yeah, so you have to know this initial point to investigate the behavior of the system, right? So when you change this point, right, when you change, when you, uh, with your initial, initial point, so that, can lead to significant difference, a uh, different outcomes or trajectories. If you change, don't know whether this system is stable or not. If you change, if you perturb the initial condition, so this is the initial point. So you get, yeah, quite different outcome, yeah, different one. So you have to investigate. So this one is very sensitive. This system is very sensitive to initial point. 
right? Very sensitive. So, so when you investigate the behavior of the system, yeah, initial point is very important. So, very the system is very sensitive to initial points, right? Uh, sometimes you get chaotic uh, behavior when you change, when you perturbate this. Uh, uh, yep. So initial condition, you get weird. Yeah, so unpredictable outcomes. Yeah, sometimes uh, you can predict the outcome. Yeah, sometimes uh, you cannot predict the outcome. Chaotic, chaotic. Uh, you get chaotic pattern. Right, when you change. Yeah, so the uh, those systems are called chaotic uh, systems. Yeah, chaotic systems. Yeah, chaotic systems are very sensitive to this initial uh, condition. I think this uh, this uh, I think we will consider chaotic systems as well. Chaos here. So root to chaos in this and dissipative systems. Yeah, so chaotic systems are very sensitive to initial condition, initial, initial condition. When you change initially, you get weird outcome. Yep. So chaotic, you cannot predict the outcome. But uh, yeah, so if you are discussing, if you are analyzing non chaotic uh, systems, yep, so you can predict the behavior or outcome of the system. If you have a chaotic system, yeah, you cannot predict the outcome, yep, you cannot predict. I think if we have time, yeah, we will uh, discuss chaotic systems as well, yep, so let's see. Yep, so. Yep. So, in order to understand or in order to analyze the behavior of the system, right, we all the time use these tools, right, in this uh, course. What are the tools? Phase space diagrams, bifurcation diagrams, bifurcation diagrams. And Lyapunov exponents, Lyapunov exponents, yeah. What else? Yeah, stability analysis. Yeah, analysis method. Yeah, next time we will discuss stability analysis for one dimensional systems. Stability analysis, we need stability. Yeah. Stability. Analysis. Method, methods such as method, yeah, linear stability analysis, eigenvalue analysis, eigenvalue analysis, and so on and so forth. So these are the tools we all the time use to understand the behavior of, of, of these kind of dynamical systems. So these are the main tools, right? We always use these tools to understand the behavior of this dynamical system. Got it? And when it comes to applications of dynamical systems, yeah, there are a lot of applications. Yeah, a lot of applications in many disciplines. In physics, uh, so dynamical uh, systems, uh, theory is used to study 
celestial mechanics or fluid dynamics. Uh, yeah, in fluid dynamics, you use uh, yeah, dynamical systems. Yep, so you analyze if you want to analyze the behavior of the fluid. Uh, use dynamical systems. Theory to understand the behavior of the uh, fluid, uh, yeah, the fluid systems. And, and that is physics. In biology, uh, we use, uh, yeah, dynamical systems to analyze the models, population models, uh, to analyze, to analyze the yeah, population dynamics of the population model. Um, and if you are in biology, yeah, so uh, if you put a catalyst into a solution, and if you want to discuss that, uh, if you want to dis understand the behavior after putting the catalyst into the solution or, or something, some system, yeah, you can use dynamical system theory to understand the behavior because the system changes over time. When you do when you do some perturbation, if you catalyst that no no what the catalyst put the car from there catalyst uh fair fair get the solution behavior when us when I get Balanna be dynamical system theory. I use them now. We have say in economics, uh, it's uh, used to understand, yeah, economical mo models. Yeah, get in game theory, yeah, in social dynamics. Yeah, you can use, yeah, dynamical system and and robotics and weather prediction. Yep, robotics. So you can you can use dynamical system theory to uh, in robotics. Yep. So robotics and in weather. Yep. So weather prediction. So what happened? Yep. So if yeah. So this yeah we can predict weather yeah by analyzing the cloud. Structure, yeah, three dimensional structure, yeah, using yeah, dynamical system theory. So these are the applications, but here we will discuss some basic, uh, yeah, some basic applications from physics, biology, population dynamics, as so well, small applications. Right, so yeah, this is the this is the brief introduction about the dynamical. Uh, yeah, so this is the brief introduction to dynamical system. You we uh, what you are going to learn and and the content briefly. Uh, so if you have any questions or any. Yeah.